all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video i'm going to be cutting making a simple video on how to cut pleated skirt with slits okay pleated skirt with slits so what are the basic measurements required our waist measurement hip measurement and our skirt length our waist is 30 inches 30 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 10 inches our hip measurement now the reason why we need our hip measurement is to know the number of fabric required for you to pleat a dress so most times people often ask how will you know or how to determine the amount of fabric required to pleat a dress what you are going to do is you are going to go ahead and multiply your hip measurement by 3 or by 2.5 now if you don't if you don't want your pleats to be very full you can go ahead and multiply your hip measurement by 2.5 or it's also determined by the amount of fabric you are working with now what i mean by that is this if you don't want your fa your pleats to be very full or you are working with limited amount of fabric go ahead and multiply your hip measurement by 2.5 but if you want to have a very full effect and you have enough fabric you are working with go ahead and multiply your hip measurement by three okay multiply your hip measurement by three so our hip measurement is 40 inches we'll go ahead and multiply 40 times three 40 times three we have 120 inches we have 120 inches now in order for you to achieve this 120 inches we have a tape measure that is beyond 60 inches and guess what guys this tape measure is available at our store so you, once you have that tape measure you can go ahead and measure your 120 inches straight up on the fabric right now this 120 inches is it simply means that the amount of fabric required that is towards the width is 120 inches now for the length of our pleated skirt we have 45 inches this 45 inches we are going to go ahead and deduct the inches for our band note that for your band it depends on how tiny or how big you want your band to be so if you want like a very big band go ahead and make it of four inches if you want a very tiny band go ahead and deduct two inches so basically it just depends and it varies on how big or how small you want your band to be so for me i want my band to be about two inches just a very simple tiny band however yours can be bigger or yours can be smaller so i'll go ahead and deduct two inches for the band so we have 45 minus two we have 43 inches now i'm going to go ahead and add my sewing allowance to it now and my sewing allowance is two inches because we are going to make it of half inch to attach it to the band and we are also going to hem the lower part of our skirt so i'll go ahead and add two inches i have 45 inches now for our band for our band we made use of two inches i'm going to go ahead and add my sewing allowance to the band because we are going to attach the band to the pleat so i'll add extra one inch for my band allowance so we have two inches plus one we have three inches so it simply means that i'm going to have three inches for my band right and for the skirt length i will have 45 inches so that is the measurement required in order for us to achieve our pleated skirt don't forget to visit our website we also have fashion illustration topics on our website with detailed illustrations and you can also join us on our facebook page cg designs and also on our instagram cg designs i'm going to put down the details in the description box below feel free to drop your question in the comment section or any topic you want us to trace in the comment section so now let's move straight into the fabric i have this african fabric and african prints are available at our store and i love the fact that it has like flowers and different colors so now for the length of our fabric 
fabric we've gone ahead to measure 120 inches and you can see that this tape measure is actually very long so we've gone ahead to measure 120 and we've taken our length so this is for the pleats now for the band for the band we've gone ahead to cut out our waist measurement which is 30 inches and we added two inches for our sewing allowance and just to give it like a form of structure we've gone ahead to iron our paper stay so that it can stay firm to the waist so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and pleat this um fabric on our band So I'm going to go ahead and pleat this fabric on the band and we are basically just going to pleat it this way, okay? So I will go ahead and do that and show you guys what it looks like and I'll also show you guys how to achieve the slit also. But before that, we'll go ahead and gather this up in this um, band. So guys, this is what we have. So this is the band. And this is the pleating. So we just went ahead to pleat it or gather it up. And this is what the front block looks like. This is the front, right? So the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and close up this side. But while you are closing it up, use your waist measurement to measure your band because this band is going to sit on your waist. So you use your waist measurement to check your band and then you leave about seven inches for your zip allowance then you stitch it all the way down once you are done with that you go ahead and fixing your zip and i'll show you guys what next we have to do this i'm also fixing our zip now to know the number of inches required for you to have your slit we are going to make use of the dart measurement okay and the dart measurement is four inches so you place it this way and then you mark your dart measurement which is four inches okay so i'll go ahead and mark this now you are going to go ahead and determine the length of your slit okay that is how high you want your slit to be you go ahead and determine that so i'm going to go ahead and trace this four inches all the way down once you're done with that you go ahead and mark how high you want it to be so for me i want it to be about 24 inches high which is like high so i'll go ahead and mark where we have 24 inches so you are checking so you will mark it all the way from the skirt length so for the skirt for the slits the length of the slits you will go ahead and mark it from the skirt length upwards to where you want the slit to get up to note that it depends on how high or how high or low you want your slit so there's no like a basic length for it so for me i'm going to make it of about 24 inches so i've gone ahead to indicate where we have that now go ahead and mark your dart measurement because you are going to slit it on the line of your dart measurement so that it can fall on one part of your leg right so we'll go ahead and cut this out So this is where we have our 24 inches and you can see the opening of the slit so you can take it high or low it depends so next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to be using my interlock machine and i will go ahead and interlock my slits all the way around so once i've locked that i will go ahead and put this on the mannequin and show you guys what our pleated skirt with slits looks like Hi guys so this is what our pleated skirt with slits looks like you can see the slit effect at the lower side and this is what our pleated skirt looks like so thanks so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe